Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All righty, Bitcoin is now approaching the time where we begin to get interested in putting on trades yet again on Bitcoin. Now, we've been patient for a very, very long time. We were trading Bitcoin aggressively during this entire zone over here, right? Um, we talked about this throughout the months of December and Jan. And then as we approached one of our targets, um, we had three targets total, target one, target 1.5, and um, target three right over here at around $42,000. But at around target 1.5, I decided to um, pull back on Bitcoin and start looking for opportunities elsewhere, protect that capital, because at this juncture, I wasn't too interested at all. But now as Bitcoin comes down into the zone, comes back down towards target one, and now as time has passed and we have been putting in a structure that allows Bitcoin to reset its equilibrium, it becomes a lot more enticing to put on trades. So in this video, I'm going to be giving guys a breakdown of the two criteria where I will be looking to get aggressive on Bitcoin. Okay, so criteria one is going to be if we do see a breakdown of this wedge to the downside. Okay, if we see a breakdown of this wedge over here, I'll be looking for essentially consolidation at around the $22,000, $23,000 levels. Where am I getting those levels from? Well, if you switch on over to your dashboard right over here, available at app.mangoresearch.co, we are looking at Bitcoin over here, so this is completely free and accessible to all of you guys. Switch on over to your daily time frame, okay, and turn on your bullish FEGs. You guys will have noticed that we have been holding this FEG over here for the longest time, okay? This bullish FEG has been holding a support for this entire consolidation. Now, if we lose this FEG over here, it's gonna line up with us losing this falling channel over here, right? It's also going to line up with us losing the target one level that we talked about just a minute ago. So if we lose this bullish FEG, well, where will you be looking for next if you're trading just the FEGs? Well, you'll be looking towards the low FEG over here, right? Coming around 23,900, the upper side, and the lower side is 22,115, right? Now, often, often you see the middle of the FEG get tested, especially on like, um, after a rounded retest, right? After a rounded retest of a key zone, and we do have a rounded retest over here, right? Because the FEG got put in at the zone over here, got the impulsive move, and then a nice rounded retest after duration gets passed. Uh, we put in a structure, duration, and then a rounded retest. You might see a wick into the middle of the FEG, okay? And that will be coming in at 23,000, right? So 23,000 coming in from our FEG levels, but more importantly, if you turn on over to your monthly time frame, and you guys know how much I love the monthly time frame, the weekly time frame, etc. And I've been eyeing, looking, freaking obsessed with this monthly 10 SMA since the beginning of this entire move, right? When we traded on the four day and the weekly, when we put on our trades around 19,000, 17,000, we're looking for this monthly 10 SMA to get claimed. We got the claim of the monthly 10 SMA. We got the retest on monthly 10 SMA and the big impulsive move, right? Now, I've not been putting too much emphasis on the 21 EMA. Why? Because the monthly tennis may is still underneath the 21 EMA. So until we see the monthly tennis may um, cross the 21 EMA, I'm expecting that 21 EMA to get violated. And we saw it get violated last month, right? So that tennis may though, it needs to hold. Okay, so where's that tennis may coming in at? 23,000. You can go ahead and pull up your data window to get a precise number. And on the right hand side, you can see MA2, 23,123. So the monthly tennis may. 23,000, as well as our dashboard FVG, if we do lose this upper FVG, of course, is also coming in at 23,000. Now, guys, remember, that's provided that this falling channel breaks towards the downside. If this falling channel breaks towards the downside, we will be looking for the $23,000 level to get hit and then a break towards the upside eventually as well. I'm still bullish on the higher time frames. Basically, the structure over here, guys, is us um, looking for something very, very similar that we played on the macro time frame over here, right? for this bigger move basically a falling channel a break towards the downside a break back in and then continuation towards the upside but this time we'll be looking for a bigger bigger move now all the way up to uh, not 90,000 not yet uh, or, uh, 42,000 for now and then we will reassess at the $32,000 level guys I really had to pull back it was looking um there was too much resistance there. That was a key level, okay? And the market suddenly all got very, very excited talking about um, the bull market, et cetera, et cetera. You could just gaze sentiment. Yeah, but that's... So this is if Bitcoin breaks down. Now, we don't need to break down. 
we don't need to break down we may actually break up and that's where we will have another trade setup in fact that's that trade setup is essentially going to be coming in from um this level right over here okay around 23 28 3000 what, what i suggest you guys do is essentially hide everything right turn on your ichimoku look at your cloud only okay look at your cloud only look at your daily cloud look for um the flat of the cloud right over here the highest point of the cloud coming at 28,200. if you start seeing daily candles close above there that's when you look for continuation towards the upside okay that's a simple simple trade setup so where are we looking for trades lower at around twenty three thousand dollars or higher at around twenty eight thousand two hundred dollars right so that's how you trade guys if this then that sometimes you might be sitting right in the middle of the range and it's a no trade opportunity okay you could have looked for a trade at the flat of the cloud over here guys at the bottom of the wedge that's completely fine but in this juncture it's not that appetizing for me so i'd like lower i like higher over here not so much i'll see you guys in the next one cheers